Hi everyone, my name is Tristan from the CPAPstore.ca and the CPAP Store YouTube channel, of course. Today we're gonna to be looking at my top nasal masks. So we're gonna look at three categories of nasal masks, um, on nose nasal masks, and then a below nose, cradle, and pillow. So those are the three categories. And I'll be talking about my favorites and why. Uh, when we do this video, I'm gonna be going over each nasal mask as well. Um, and, and yeah, let's get started, I suppose. So the first, category we're gonna do is the on nose nasal mask. And if you've seen my top mask of 2023, just in general, you will see that I picked the ResMed AirFit N20. And this is a really awesome mask. It fits a lot of different head shapes and we have really good positive feedback about it. However, I'm gonna say that, not that I'm wrong, but I think I've changed my opinion. I think, I can't remember why I picked it over the Eson 2 because the Fisher and Pickel or Fisher and Pickel uh, Eson 2 is actually, or I think is, I prefer it over this one, um, and and I'm not sure why I picked that one, this one for the video. I I, I do like the Eson 2, so I'm changing my mind um, and I'm picking the Eson 2. Now the reason why I'm changing my mind or picking the different mask is because after further consideration. Um, I do find that the Eson 2, I think, fits better on my nose and um, on probably other people's noses. Now, this is a category of CPAP mask that I have the least experience in because my nose is squishy. I have a quite a squishy nose. It has l no cartilage in it. And therefore, I don't really use any of these masks like on a daily um, because they kind of force uh, like pressure on the top of my nose and close that airway gap. Uh, within my nose and I feel like that um, I don't have as good breathing capabilities with them. Um, however, that being said, the one that does it the least is the Eson 2. Now, if we look at the Eson 2, just the cushion here at the front, um, let's see here, let's just break it apart quickly. Okay, if you can see that here, look how soft it is. Look at the squish of the cushion there's an area that relieves the pressure and kind of folds over the hard part. And because I have a squishy nose, this is one of those masks that when I do put it on, it actually doesn't put a lot of pressure on my nose and around my nose. I'm actually able to use this mask. That being said, the N20 is still a great fitting mask for most people, um, but I'm not one to use it myself. But after further consideration, like I said, uh, the Eson 2, I could use it myself, whereas the N20, I wouldn't be able to. And that is because if you look at the front here and I press, look how it's pretty hard, right? Like there's not a lot of, you know, give to there, but with the F and P, I press it down and look at all the give. So I do like the Eson 2 the best. Now, the other reasons why I like this mask uh, the best for this style of mask is all the reasons why I like the Viterra as well. I like this extra support on top of the nose um, to put these straps kind of at the forehead. I find that when the straps are up there, although it does look intimidating, um, it keeps everything away from the eyes and it keeps everything away from the ears. So it looks intimidating kind of because like all over your face rather than just, you know, here and around the sides. But you barely see this kind of bar portion and everything else is really secure. So I find it to be a very secure mask, um, easy to break down, and the cushion is the most comfortable. Um, at last, it has the, a great diffuser on the front, okay? Now, what about the other masks from the other brands, like Philips, okay? Philips also makes great masks. Um, I find the way they shape this mask in this category for me is a little bit uh, narrow and also like a little small in a sense where it just pushes my nose and squishes it a bit. It does have a really soft kind of kind of cushion as well. Nowhere near like the Eson, um, but just whatever shape it is, I've never really been able to use the Philips mask, um, the Wisp and the Dream Wisp because of my unique nose shape. So I just can't, I can't be as good of a host in this category as I would like to be. Um, my favorite is the Eson. Now, if you're looking for an over the nose mask with the hollow tubes, then the Dream Wisp is gonna be your best option, okay? It has everything you would want um, and the tubes up here. So if you're rolling around in bed, you know, obviously 
the tube's gonna be on the top of your head so you can be rolling around and it's not gonna be tangling your neck. Whereas these front mounted masks do have a tendency to tangle your neck if you roll around a lot. So the Dream West is a good option. Another reason why I'm giving this category winner to the Eson and not to the Dream West is because the diffusers aren't as good. So if you look at the diffuser, um, actually the diffuser on this is fine, but the diffuser on the Dream West has like this hole that you see in the rest of the Dreamware line. And an exhalation port like that without a, without a better diffuser does have a tendency to kind of shoot a jet of air uh, in your partner's face, which can be annoying. Uh, but the Eson 2 gets past this with this nice fabric diffuser, okay? So that's the winner of this category and that's why. Let's move on to pillow masks. Now when it comes to pillow masks, we do have some subcategories here. We have the hollow frame masks and obviously the not hollow frame masks. Both of course have their pros and cons, um, but we're gonna look at this category as a whole. So for me, the loser in this category is actually F and P. So they're the winner in the first category, but the loser in this one. Um, and that's because I find that this cushion is actually a little more niche. For me, I have a wider nose and I think that this, uh, I think this cushion in general only works with pointier nose um, just in general, but also this mask, I feel like for a pillow mask um, that's supposed to be minimal, I find that the front to be a little bit too bulky. The diffuser is nice. They have the clips, pros and cons with that. You know, if you have a pacemaker, clips are good. If you don't, they're just more inconvenient. As you can see the front of these bands here, they're just kind of floppy. There's no structure to them. Um, and what I find is that this mask does have a tendency to either ride down or hit your ear, which I do find a little bit discomforting. Also, I feel that the wings on the side of this mask actually do more harm than good. And when you push the pillow, it kind of shifts the whole mask and does create some leaking, even though that's what they're trying to avoid. Um, that being said, I have had really, really awesome reviews and seen awesome reviews of people for this mask. And I think it's one of those masks that's over-engineered to the point of when a certain demographic people are gonna really like it and the other demographic people are really gonna hate it. And with the FMP Bravada, I think that people with a very structured pointy nose is gonna love it and the rest of people, it's not gonna fit that well. My winner winner of this category is, uh, you might've guessed it, the ResMed P10. The P10 is just such a minimal mask and with many of our clients, they all find that the leakage situation um, is great. The fitment is great. Um, and what I really like about it being such a minimal mask is that number one, it's easy to travel with, easy to store, easy to wash, but also there's these bands inside here um, that kind of arc up as you can see. And, and they arc up around the cheek and over the ear. And that is something that I find really nice about this mask because it doesn't dig into your ear and there's enough structure in this mask that although it's a very simple design, it doesn't really move around a lot. Um, the pillows are good, they're shaped well, they don't leak, um, it's just a phenomenal mask. Now let's talk about the mask in the middle here. We got the Dreamwear Pillow Mask by Philips and the P30i from ResMed. Now, as you can see, these are both hollow frame masks. Okay, so if the p10 is not what you want because you want a hollow frame mask then we go to this category so what is it? my second favorite mask you could say and that is going to be the p30i from resmed um, they're both similar masks they both fit pretty similarly but the p30 just has more things going for it for instance the top disconnect quick uh quick connect area is better there's two clips you know exactly when it comes off and on. Whereas with the Dreamwear, this tube kind of comes off like this. Um, it's not as convenient. Um, and then you can quick connect or disconnect from the tube itself, which is not as simple as the quick connect on the P30i. Moving down, we got the accordion style stretchiness of the headgear of the P30i, which you don't have with the Dreamwear. Um, and at last and most importantly, with the pillows of this mask, I find that the pillow P30i is a lot better at containing leaks than the Dreamwear. And a lot of people have mentioned this, but the Dreamwear uh, pillow mask, um, and I keep on saying pillow mask because that's important to note, is a mask that is known for leaking a little bit. When I do push my head into the pillow, my like sleeping pillow, um, these pi nasal pillows do tend to twist and leak a little bit. Um, so just in general, these two masks are very similar. Okay, I think both are great masks. They both have excellent reviews. 
but the P30i just has a few more benefits over the Dreamware, and that's gonna be the second place. At last, let's tackle the cradle portion of this review here. So in fourth place, again, is the FNP Evora Nasal. Um, there's a lot of great things going with this mask, but they're equaled with the bad things. So kind of the good things is that it's kind of this baseball cap design that a lot of masks don't have, or I should say no masks have. However, because of that innovation, I feel like there's a few things just geometrically that need to be refined. Um, these areas here kind of sit too low for me. They, they kind of irritate my ears. I find there's a flip-flop um, dynamic of, of, of pressure in this mask. I feel like a lot of pressure is either kind of pushing upwards on your nose or pushing into your face. And I just feel like overall, it's not the most comfortable mask. It's pretty decent when it comes to leaks, but for me personally, um, I just feel like it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. Now, the funny thing is with this mask, just like the Bravada, it's one of those niche masks. It has the following of best mask I've ever tried ever in my life to I can't wear this mask, I gotta send it back. So on this video, because of that, because it doesn't work with a, a wide variety of people, it's a very hit or miss mask. It's one of those masks that I'd recommend you go to your sleep therapist and try on and not just like buy online to test it out. Um, because of those reasons, because it's a hit or miss, I'm gonna give it the fourth place. Now the next three masks I actually all really like, and that's because the cradle mask is my preferred mask. It's my go-to mask. And the winner of this category is the Dreamwear Nasal Mask. So unlike the Pillow Mask version, the Dreamwear uh, Cradle is so comfortable and is so good at minimizing leaks that I'm able to forgive all the other uh, downsides about it. For example, if we're comparing it with the N30i, um, the N30i, just like the P30i, it has the better disconnect, it has the better accordion style stretch tubing, Okay, it has a really good headband. Um, but with this mask for me, the nasal portion, the actual cushion port and the important portion is not as comfortable and not as good for me as the Dreamwear. Now, I do have a bit of a hypothesis with this. I think that those with a flatter face, uh, a flatter nose are gonna prefer the Dreamwear. And I think those with a little more pointier of a nose and pointier of a face are gonna uh, prefer the um, N30i. But because this is a review based on my experience, I must say that the Dreamwear Cradle Mask is my favorite mask. Not just my favorite nasal mask in the nasal category and all the nasal cradle category, but my favorite mask uh, when including full face in, in every mask that I've ever tried. Um, it's simple, it's easy to clean. Yes, it doesn't have that accordion style thing like the uh, N30, but uh, that means it's also easier to clean. It fits my face quite well. Uh, the front doesn't leak. And also the sides here go over my ear and don't rub my ear. Um, and so for me, it's just a great, simple quality mask um, that is leak free and comfortable. And one more thing I'd like to note, uh, which is what I like about this mask is that because it is top mounted headgear, uh, it's not going to uh, get in the way uh, if you're sleeping, if you're tossing and turning, the tube is a lot less likely to get around your neck and choke you as a front mounted mask would. Okay, so that's the N30i and the Dreamwear. Pick my winner here. And then we have this guy, the N30, which is similar to a P10, right? Um, now, it's kind of funny because I gave the P10 the, the top winning spot in the pillow category, and this, I guess, comes in second or third in the cradle category, but that's just because I like the Dreamwear so much. The N30 is still a top tier mask. Like I wish I could have three number one picks for this category because I think the N30, the N30i, um, and the Dreamwear mask are all great masks. This has the front mounted tubing, which is more likely to create tube drag than, than top mounted tubing. However, it's very minimal, it's very lightweight. Um, and because it's lightweight, it's comfortable to wear all night long. Also, if you're traveling, if you're sleeping on an airplane, um, or a train or whatever, and you have it set up. Of course, the you know the front mounted tubing is gonna be more comfortable if you're sleeping in an odd position than top mounted, right? Um, just lying down, I find the top mounted more comfortable. Um, overall, the N30 has all the benefits of a P10. It's simple, clean, easy to wash, 
um, and has a great seal as well. So that concludes this video. I know it was a bit long. I do appreciate you watching. Please subscribe if you want us to make more videos. Let us know your favorite nasal mask in the comments below.